Translating your Kasich script into your Kubernetes infrastructure doesn't have to be complicated. Let's see how we can create and run a Kasich test using TestCube's command line tool. TestCube can import your existing Kasich test files from three different sources, a local file, a Git repository, or the string for your entire script. In this case, we'll use this sample Kasich script that lives in a GitHub repository where we're simulating receiving 20 and 10 users on our app repeatedly over the course of five seconds. You can find the project link in our description below. Now, we'll navigate to our terminal and create our test cube test. For that, we'll type the following command that sets the name of your test, the type of your test, in this case, Kasich script, the source type for your test, in this case, your Git directory, the URI for your project, and your Git branch, which in our case is the main branch. And done, our test is created. To run our test, we simply type in the following command using the name of the test you just created. And that's it, our first Kasich test is officially running. To follow the execution, we'll copy this command and that should show us real-time logs for our script. Finally, we'll see if our test passes or fails. For this, run the following command. This will display all your logs again and a detailed summary on your test execution. To visualize all of this with TestCube's UI, simply type in TestCube dashboard and this will spin up in your browser showing you all your tests, the executions for them, and the logs that we also saw on the CLI. From here, you have access to your test analytics, test configuration, and the ability to also trigger tests with just a simple click. And done, you've successfully learned how to run K6 tests in Kubernetes using TestCube.